How's it going you guys? Today are we are here with some more RPG Maker games. I know you guys love it because I love it too. So this game is called Beware of the Snowman. It actually came out back in November of last year. I don't know how I missed it, but I apparently missed it because this would have been great for 25 days to Christmas. Anyways, that aside, the synopsis is very, very simple. Basically, you're a guy who lives in a small house that lives in a small village that lives around this urban legend of a a, 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 a a abominable snowman sort of figure that comes and eats you. So our job here is to uh, make sure we don't get eaten tonight because apparently he's out and about and he's hungry. Okay, but where are the snowman? It was made in XP and other than that, enjoy. The snowman is coming. He is a terrible monster. You live alone in a small and snowy village. You need to protect yourself from him. Well, what if the snowman's a girl? Oh, I'm a girl. <laughs> it's a window. You can see the outside. Sure. Beware of the snowman. You can't stand... He can't stand heat, so warm up your house. Block and lock the doors and windows. Find ways to slow him down. Cute flowers and a picture of your sister who lives far away. So if you haven't figured it out yet, it's not really story oriented, but more uh, gameplay oriented and puzzle based. So we kind of gotta figure out what we gotta do. I'm assuming that there's gonna be a timer at some point. So uh, we might have to rush through this a bit. Found hammer and nails. You picked it up. Can I just sleep it away? Oh no. Okay. Okay, so that's how you cue it. Gotcha. Okay, so we got a hammer. And a heavy box. There's nothing to do from here. So we know that the snowman doesn't like heat, and that's very obvious. <laughs> we, uh... Is there a way to... There's a box of matches? Sure! Painted the day's matches. Plates, cups, kitchen supplies, and stuff. Oh yeah, I love stuff. The letter that you were writing. Nothing important. Hmm. Ah, this is what I was thinking about. It's a fireplace. Now, how do we start a fire? We're gonna need to look for wood, which we have down here. Very dry. Perfect. Set of bow and arrows. How many stuff can we pick up? Is there a limitation? Cold water in the kettle. Well, we don't need that. Vegetables you need to cook, but you're not hungry. It's not like it will help me survive the snowman. It's a window. You can see the outside. Alright, that's not helpful. Useful tools, good for burning. High quality matches, usually for hunting. Okay. Uh, light up the fireplace. Okay, so we, we got the first step, it seems. Ooh, that was a little bit laggy. Uh, well, this really is a tiny house. There's gotta be something outside. Empty oak barrels, the wood is rotten. Hmm. Now how can we protect ourselves even more from Mr. Snowman? Very strong wood. Pick it up. I might just grab whatever I can because I, I can apparently. Can I run? No, I cannot. Oh man, XP. So old school. I kind of love its graphics. It's so simple. Ryan full of bugs. Like compared to what we have now in VX or um, what should we call it? MV. Very strong wood. Pick it up. What's this? It's a bear trap. That's one ghetto bear trap. It needs to stay on it for a while to activate. Pick it up. Okay, so we're apparently we're gonna bear trap the snowman. And I think the idea of that is so either it does not enter the room that we're in. Or so we can trap the abadam uh, above snowman inside the and inside our like sauna type ish room house. What am I saying? There's a bird on the branch. Shoot the bird! All right. Oh god, that was cruel. You dead bird, pick it up. Yeah. I wonder how that thing died. Poor bird. Uh, you, whoever you are, this lady, you're so cruel. Just shoot birds and you think it's say okay. They have feelings too. You're not even hungry. Why did you even kill the bird? This could be a nice place to set up a trap. Nah. Oh, unless we use the bird as bite. But that still makes no sense. Okay. Alright. 
So, uh, can we push this? Actually, that would make no sense. Why would we push it there? I don't know. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> my phone was vibrating just now, but I just tossed it in my booty. Behind my booty. <laughs> uh, go outside. Alright, so let's set up the trap here. It's a dead bird. Yes, that would distract him. Because I'm dead dad and a little snowman loves to eat birds. Okay, now let's lock the door. Door is now that. Push that thing, Nima Booper. Okay. And we have a hammer. Well, what else can we do here? For the indomitable snowman. Ooh. You're right. That way he doesn't come crashing through the windows. You only have wood to block one window? Oh no. Uh, well. The idea here is if I put it here. Wait, what if I, what if I needed to lure him into the kitchen first? Before... Right? That makes sense. I probably need to lure him to the kitchen. Oh, well, I, I guess that's set then. Alright. And then... Do stuff, right? That would make a little bit more sense. Oh well. Let's see what we got. Oh no, I didn't lock the door! Okay. Well, we definitely want to block our window. That way he doesn't eat us since we're gonna go to bed there. And then, um... Let's also, yeah, let's do it here. Because our, our main objective is to survive. That's our main objective. Books and other stuff on the shelf. Nothing useful. Oh wait, that, that was just letters that I wrote stuff. Clock doesn't work anymore. Weird stuff hanging on the ceiling, vegetables, cold water, and uh, that's about it. Alright, let's see if we survive this night. Oh wait, lamp. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Yes. Cross our fingers, guys. Let's hope let's not die. The twilight falls. A roaring can be heard from the outside. Damn, that's one crazy snowman. The dead bird distracted the monster. The trap was triggered. The monster was badly injured, but he could flee from the trap. He came to the door. The door was locked, so he tried to break it. But there was a heavy box blocking the door, so he didn't have enough strength to break it. So he moved to your bedroom's window. The window of your bedroom was blocked, so he was not able to break it. So he moved to the window of the living room. The window of the living room was blocked too, so he also was not able to break it. So he tried the kitchen window. He did not have enough wood to block the kitchen window, so he broke in. The kitchen was very hot, so he couldn't stay there for long. Desperate and hurt, he went back to where he comes from. The monster disappeared into the forest and was never seen again. The sun rised in a cold day. You managed to escape the snowman and to live another day. The end. <laughs> oh man, I love how this game uses all of the RTP assets, meaning the default stuff that comes with the engine, because no one uses RTP music and RTP graphics and all of that stuff. But for some reason, in this situation, playing this game, it all mixes just so well together, and I absolutely love it. Like, seriously, this game is very simple. It's very short and very simple, but as you can clearly tell, you do not need to have amazing graphics and you do not need to have the absolute best music of the best music in order to, uh, to in order to have a great game now 
that said, I do want to try this game again because I want to see just in case there was a way to kill him instead. That's suspicious if it can be done. Hey guys, so I'm actually still in the middle of setting things up and what I was going to do was put the board here in the kitchen. But then he made me come to realize that if I did that, then he will break through this window and just go into my room and eat me. So, I don't think you can kill him. But that said, let's at least see what it looks like to die. The monster was badly injured, but he could flee from the trap. He came to the door. The door was locked, so he tried to break it. But there was a heavy box blocking the door, so he didn't have enough strength to break it. So he moved to your bedroom's window. The window of your bedroom was blocked, so he was not able to break it. So he moved to the window of the living room. The window of the living room was not blocked, so he broke it in into it. He went to your room. You could not protect yourself from the snowman. It's all over now. And I died. <laughs> Alright. So, as I said, it, it's a very simple game. Do not use any sort of, like, assets outside of the default or the RTP. And there's something about this that... There's something about short RPG Maker games that's done at least well that makes it very charming. And I would say that this was done fairly well. Granted, I beat it in 10 minutes because I had an idea how to save myself from the indomitable snowman. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I found it very charming. I hope you guys did too. And if you did, consider giving this video a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I play mostly RPG, horror games, and uh, other Steam-like horror games. That said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, ciao!